it looks like the dunks is not going to end anytime soon my kind of you know much maligned shoe the one that i kind of don't understand the hype about and i think is pretty shit it's still going like you're kind of going to squeeze this thing completely dry of all its juices no matter what this is Curse Your High Beast. And again, this is a leak, so we don't know if it's actually legit. But it says here, check out Supreme and Nike Dunk SB by any means necessary sample. The by any means necessary uh, kind of, you know, motif on it looks pretty cool, right? Uh, was that No Love, New York? I don't know what that means, but it's um, a fairly decent colorway, you know, black and white. You can't really go wrong, especially with the color blocking. You've got the by many means there. You've got the No embroidered, it feels like on the side and the heart embroidered, which is nice. The by any means is kind of screen printed it looks like right so that's a screen print they've got the soup on the tongue there label and it looks like supreme print on the back of one of the bits there on the back tab so there's a lot of branding on it for people that like that kind of thing okay supreme team written and they're the same thing that you might see on some of the jackets that they kind of embroidered on the sleeve so a lot of kind of cool little nods and prods here and there i'm sure there's going to be loads of other colorways that they're going to drop um in line with these it kind of feels like to me like a co.jp colorway that they've kind of pulled from the archive and basically made their own it looks tiny in it or is the guy's hand really big they look like a size five or something maybe smaller i wonder if they're real or not i don't know they look real to me looks a bit random and it kind of fits in with nike's you know decision to absolutely blow the market full of flipping or flood the market full of flipping dunks um so yeah these are probably going to eventually come out again not for me don't care about the dunk shoes or model don't care about this in general it'll probably end up going for a bit of a bit of a, a bit of bucks when they hit the resale okay there's not much images to say after the images leaked um there was some debate of whether this style was indeed the sb or dunk it looks like a regular dunk to me it doesn't look like a sb um it says here or if it was a nike sportswear dunk higher however according to a leaked sneaker instagram account they originally posted a photo to the style does feature sb insole and has sb branding somewhere else on the shoe of note is the supreme has only made one non sb dunk before unreleased in 2017 okay so it makes sense then because they are part of nike skateboarding but there was a time when i think they stopped it now but if i'm not mistaken there was a time when dunk highs sbs had puffier tongues obviously i know the dunk lows do but they obviously must have changed it recently i guess maybe with some wear testings they found out that you know there's no need to have a puffy tongue if you've got a high top it's mostly important if you've got a low top because it helps to kind of keep your foot centered i imagine eh, i don't know maybe i'm making it up who knows but yeah man it's like they're gonna absolutely rinse these shoes in it there's no real end it's just not gonna stop and like i said in another show it's like supposedly the 40th anniversary of dunk is coming up soon i think maybe five or so years or three years i don't know soon around the corner and they're already doing all this now and they're gonna they're gonna do it again with no real kind of feeling as if like they've exhausted the market so this is why it makes me it really interests me when you know i had my time when i was a really avid sneakerhead and i had over like 300 shoes stacked up in my room and stuff and i used to resell a bunch and buy more and do all this sort of stuff and work in shoe shops and i was obsessed with going to different stores and hanging out outside on the benches and all that malarkey right that was my life for a long period of time but then it just got boring in it it's just you know as most things you just kind of get over it you know you just you you're into it don't get me wrong so i still buy the odd i still probably buy more shoes than the average person but in terms of caring and crying about things i don't get it's not really that bothering because you know i've had a long history of getting stuff that i wanted and maybe now because i'm not you know as well connected as i was prior and i don't have the not contacts i did back in those days and i'm unwilling to hit anybody up for anything it probably you know stops my ability to get the shoes and obviously the way that they release them makes it a bit difficult but in general i throw my hat into a raffle which you obviously have to pay for and try and get something and if i don't i don't i just keep it moving but i'm not making extra effort to go cop the shoe i'm not going to call up you know random mom and pop stores across america or parts in europe or drive to somewhere to i'm not doing that it's just not worth it and um it just doesn't excite me as much as it sh did in the past because again i've been in this for a long time and you know other things have taken priority so it's always impressive when i see people you know, tying this back to the 40th anniversary thing so imagine right they're already flooding the market with these dunks everyone's getting excited everyone's got their you know everyone's got a boner 
And then in a few years' time, or maybe a couple of years' time, it's going to be the 40th anniversary. And for sure, Nike are going to do an even bigger celebration for that, right? Or maybe something on the same scale to mark that anniversary, because Nike always marks the anniversaries of stuff, even if it comes a year later. And they're going to do it all over again. More collaborations, more releases, more things. It's just like, it never stops. So it's hard to see, it's hard to kind of rationalize why people get disappointed. Maybe back in my day, it was a lot more, you could have a reason to be disappointed because you generally wasn't sure if you're going to get the shoe or not. But now with StockX and all these other reselling platforms and people generally buying shoes just to flip, there's always a brand new dead sock pair of the shoe that you want in your size out there if you're willing to pay, always. When I was buying stuff, you didn't even know if it was existed. You had no idea if it even was available to purchase because it's just, you know, you didn't know. Now there is always, there's always avenues to kind of get your shoes. It just... I don't know if I was Nike, I'd be a little bit more protective of, especially these sort of like legacy models, legacy, whatever they're called, right? These sort of like pressed fundamental, I don't know, whatever. These models that played a huge part in Nike's history, you'd be a little more protective of them. You wouldn't want to tire out the consumer with them. You want to kind of hold them up in the scene that you think, because obviously people in Nike clearly think the dunk is a big deal. I don't really get it, right? Personally, especially when you think of the current landscape of stuff out there at the moment. But they obviously think it's a big deal. If it is, treat it like it's a big deal. Don't just completely whore it out. And that's what it kind of feels like, you know? Everyone gets a collaboration. Some are good. Some are mostly are bad. The releases come and go. No one cares. A few people wear them. Cool. Keep it moving. It's like, and it's over with. And the moment a new trend comes along, they'll be forgotten. And it just feels a little bit like a wasted exercise personally. But, you know again what do i know this will definitely end up living in the history books for sure because it's a supreme product but they're due to come out soon i guess you'll find out when they do come out when they come out i guess in it you'll find out when they do come out now the screen thing isn't working is it but let's just move on but yeah what can you do look at them just ugh. i don't know man i don't know let's get this up there go 